So I'm getting a late start this morning. It's already 8 a.m. and I have two hours to get up to Flagstaff to start the hike. And uh, of course, it's raining very nicely. And uh, I was very apprehensive this morning about even getting up and <laughs> getting out the door here this morning. But uh, here we are. We're on our way and I've got my coffee and I've got my breakfast sandwich and that's all you need to start a good morning, right? So yeah, we'll see how it goes and hopefully I can knock this thing out in about, you know, six hours or so and uh, at least be down before nightfall. That is the goal. Alright, so the rain seems to have cleared up and uh, finally making my way up. And uh, yeah, it's turning out to actually be a surprisingly beautiful day. You can't really see Humphreys with all the cloud coverage, but uh, hopefully as we go throughout the day, things will be, uh, things will clear up a little bit. Quite a bit more snow than I anticipated. Uh, down here low on the trail makes me only wonder what I'm in store for up near the summit uh, good thing I brought my trekking poles um, I didn't bring crampons I was checking the weather was checking the different reviews on all trails for some reason no one mentioned the snow so maybe it fell in like the last day or so um, if that maybe it was an overnight fall Our last major switchback, uh, cluster of switchbacks, and then we head up to Humphreys. It just got really cold, so uh, I lay it on my jacket underneath my shell, put my hat back on, got my gloves at the ready and uh, just preparing. A lot of hikers came down saying, good luck, it's very windy up there. So um, we gotta be prepared here. So we've reached a noteworthy milestone. This is the sign that tells you, number one, not to hike off trail. They wanna preserve this area, but also um, that you've reached the 11,400 foot mark and that there's no camping um, recommended above this level and they of course they enforce that as well so now we are completely exposed on the mountain this uh, it, we are coming up to the saddle in the next few minutes but yeah it is windy up here very exposed um, on the edge here and uh, yeah still feeling good I think uh, we could make it okay this is where it looks deceptive because right here that looks like it may be the summit but I know it's not I know I still got a little while a little ways left to go and that last and that last couple hundred feet is just absolutely blistering so put my focus pants on and uh, once I get over this full summit it'll be onto the summit and back down I do not want to become a permanent fixture out here so happy to see this pole right here honestly scary moments I'm not gonna lie I'm not used to these conditions but hey you know what you can't stay a summer hiker forever Made some new friends up here. A <laughs> couple, couple of lads that uh, 
aren't, aren't going to be able to give me a, 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 a signature up here to sign away their image, but hey, it's all good. Hey buddy! Hey! Can you believe a dog made it up here? Unbelievable! <laughs> what a brave pup! We finally get our first view of the day of uh, the other peaks. So that's, uh, you can actually see the skiers coming down the slope there. That's awesome. So this is the saddle. I could barely see it earlier. Unbelievable. Wow, things are cleared up. Whew. Managed to take a tiny spill right there. Ooh, lost my footing and just fell on my back. Managed to brace the fall a little bit with my arm. But uh, yeah, kind of tricky technical terrain going down here. So uh, don't recommend jogging like I am. I think I've learned my lesson for now. It is just so beautiful right now. I can't help but just stand here for a while and just take it all in. You know, I can't help but reflect on uh, being up on that beautiful summit and uh, just how really it, it didn't push me as physically as the first time I did this, uh, the first time was exponentially more difficult. But uh, just the mental aspect of it, not being, you know, barely being able to see the trail leading up all the way up to the summit and feeling that wind and the not very good visibility, kind of, <clears throat> it kind of makes you, I don't know, really makes you push yourself mentally. There were many times I wanted to stop and turn around, but uh, I felt like I could keep going. So anyway, I'm not recommending you keep going when you think you should turn around, but definitely it's always good to push yourself mentally. Man, I can't believe I missed these Aspens on the way in. You can see a lot of the, uh, a lot of the remnants of the fallen leaves. Yeah, they're all done falling, but man, they're cool looking. Bunch of aspens. All right, guys, that's all she wrote. It's nice to come to the Coconino National Forest, but my gosh, am I glad to be getting out of here and onto a beautiful pasture. There we were, up there.